Welcome back to Filmic. Uh, my previous video was talking about the Black Magic press conference, which has happened well, just now. Uh, I was rambling on a bit, so I thought I'd split this video into different bits. For those of you who don't know, I'm a big fan of, well, this sort of stuff and geekery. You might have seen me uh, review other more Filmic and more cinema type equipment, but my real passion is, is live and uh, uh, hence the mess in here. Anyway, I've been using the ATEM systems for a while. I've got uh, uh, ATEM 1ME there, ATEM 2ME there, uh, TV studio around and bits and pieces. I, I'm, I sort of think that this is part of the changing face of, of, of television, how we're going to get new media out there. Something like this video where I'm shooting this on an Osmo, I have to edit it. And it doesn't take all that long, but it would do if I put another couple of cameras up. Like one of the things I wanted to do was pull out the second camera to be able to show you some of the things I'm talking about. Well, that was just a faff too far in this video. Blackmagic have today done an announcement to update their television studio range. Uh, range, there was only one of them. Uh, and one of the things they took away from the television studio, which it always had is H.264 streaming via USB back to a Windows machine. That's been kind of useful, but a bit clunky as well. What they have done, however, is unveil a product called the Web Presenter. Now, the Web Presenter is a Teradex Mini Micro, uh, one of the Teradex size. There's the, basically, you fit three of them in a rack. And that box does, well, quite simply, it takes the output from any ATEM or indeed any HDMI or SDI source and converts it to a webcam feed. So you can plug it in via USB and this kind of, as Grant from Blackmagic Design was talking through it, I was thinking this is this feels like a bit of a clunky thing to do but then they start to explain a bit further that the webcam uh, protocol is universal, works everywhere and it's been kind of optimised by now, it works really well. So this box just takes your standard feeds, converts them to a webcam. What's good about that is you can plug it into Skype, you can plug it into OBS or YouTube Live or any of the other different things that you want to do. But it can take any different standard in, so let's say 4K in, and it will down convert it all to 720. Now, and it does its own variable bit rates uh, internally and will change the frame rates as well if necessary. I, I'm excited by this because actually in, in, in these traditional environments to get a, a live feed to the web is pretty complicated and, and other uh, companies such as Livestream, um, the, the one that Panasonic, uh, JVC do, I can't remember the name of that, they have them all built into what look like a suitcase computer these days. And that works really well. Blackmagic haven't provided a, a solution for that until now. And it's really interesting to see what they have done. And interestingly, the web presentation they did earlier, that was all streamed using the only the web presenter itself. But one of the interesting things about that was that the the actual web presenter unit itself, and I'll put a picture of it up on here, probably just probably see the back. It has an HDMI input and an SDI input, and we won't worry about the other things that are on there for now, but those can be switched between. So if you had your SDI camera to plug into the unit and you had your HDMI PC, for example, to plug into it, all of a sudden you could be running your own business presentation or radio podcast or something just like this but I could be showing you my screen and not only does it convert these things to a 720p uh, web stream or, or webcam format to, to be able to be streamed um, you can actually use it as a two input switcher and that got me thinking of all the different things whereby we would take a full mix setup out just to do two cameras and in, in fact only a couple of weeks ago, we did the exact thing where we, where well, we took a bloody enormous setup just to get two camera switching, um, and that could re be really interesting. Again, the price uh, is is black magic, so it's always going to be quite aggressive. Uh, it's four ninety five, and so effectively you've got a two channel switch with a web streamer in it, or you can use this alongside the any of the existing ATEMs or the new 
television studio HD. Um, it's really cool. You can also use it's as I mentioned, it's got one SDI and one HDMI. You can convert using the uh, I don't know where they are, They're just standard type of converters um, to have two HDMIs for a switcher or two SDIs using the uh, oh, hell, they're in here somewhere. Any of these sorts of things uh, where you where you just they're dirt cheap and you can just switch the signal into there. Um, interestingly, one of the things it did show was as they were talking about it being effectively a fully featured two channel mixer. One of the things that was immediately obvious was that the Blackmagic press conference presentation looked really loggy. Uh, what that suggested to me was that the actual Blackmagic 8M switch software certainly doesn't work with this. Um, because being black magic they're using their own cameras uh, and it looked to me like they were shooting on Ursa Mini there and they would have corrected the actual image using the camera controls to, to make it look a bit more uh, usable instead it was the standard sort of very log low contrast look so it's a two channel switcher but it's very rude, uh, very basic in terms of what it will do anyway pretty cool and they also do a Terra Next Smart Panel, which I, I'll bring what that does in, in another uh, video. But that gives you effectively preview monitor and uh, monitoring for the web presenter. So all in all, the web presenter, 495. I'd love to know how you're going to use it. Is 720p enough for streaming? And, well, is there anything better out there? I mean, the thing that comes to mind is using the actual the uh, H.264 encoder from Blackmagic, which which I don't think is as expensive as this. Um, anyway, do let me know in the comments what you think, uh, and uh, I'll bring whatever else Blackmagic have spoken about, which uh, I'll be on the next page, so I guess all studio cameras. See you next time.